There's an old saying in the developer community. The fastest line of code is the one that you didn't have to write. And that is accurate because they've got access to an enormous repository of pre-built packages. You might have heard of Node Package Manager or NPM, which is a repository where developers can kind of go and pick up the different modules that they need. So if they need a carousel, they just go to NPM, download a carousel that's pre-built by another developer. And that makes it incredibly fast to build web apps with code. But what we also know is that no-code tools make it much faster to build than coding. And the only disadvantage that no coders have had up until today is that we didn't have a repository for packages that were pre-built by others. That is now no longer true. So today, if you want to build a web app that has a carousel or a rich text editor, you can head into Toddle's repository and just install a package. It's super easy and it makes it much faster to build web apps. Where in the past, you would have to build everything from scratch. You can now share with your community packages that, that you build and then they'll have pre-built components that they can leverage and vice versa. So you get to benefit from all of the work of thousands of developers which makes it so incredibly fast to build web apps. Let's have a look at what it looks like in Toddle. So if we head into the editor, you see the normal interface that you're used to, you've built in for a long time, and now you can click on this button that we just added, which is called Install Packages. When you click on it, you get access to a large repository of a bunch of different pre-built apps. Let's say, for example, I want an accordion element for my pricing page. Then I can simply just search for accordion and then a package pops up. I can click install this package and now it's installed into uh, my system. But before I install it, I probably should go in and check if it does the right thing. But here you can see the component element or the accordion element um, which is like pre-built, it looks super cool. I can even have accordion elements in or components inside of my other accordion component. Wow, that's a lot of accordion components. But I can see that's exactly what I need. So I've installed it. I'm gonna go back into the editor and I'm gonna look at the div and I'm gonna hit E. And in my components, now I can see an accordion group, which I need to put the accordions inside. I click the accordion group, and then I'm going to search for accordion, and then I have my UI accordion here. And when I've inserted that into the group, I can see it, and I can interact with it. So all of a sudden, instead of having to build all those micro interactions that you would need for a, an accordion, it's just straight in the system, and it's built by someone who's really kick ass at toddling. So in the header, I can just put in uh, a, an attribute. So here I would say, are there fish in the sea? And it'll then populate my accordion element. And here I can click it and I will see that it unlocks. Right now it just says content. And that's because we have made it so easy for you that you can just plot in whatever content you want. So this is actually just the placeholder. But let's go back and have a look at the UI accordion. So if I click E and I want to put in a paragraph, then it goes straight into my accordion element. And then I can write, yes, there are plenty of fish in the sea. And now you can go into test mode and you can see that it filled out the text. So all of this is pre-built. All you have to focus on is essentially just the content that goes into the components and it saves you a ton of time. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do. You can build a rich text editor where you can go in and hey, I wanna be able to type or allow my users to type in my web app. You can play with confetti. 
So add that to a button. And yes, you can even do it as a fireworks show. The other things that you can do is you can get the power of location. So imagine you want to build the next Uber, then you can actually just install this whenever you need some sort of location. It can do get location, watch location. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do. Insert Lottian animations or social icons if you want particular social icons. Instead of fetching all of the images from somewhere on the internet, you can simply just capture them here and then use them as part of your project. And a really easy way to do it is I'm going to install this one and then I'll show you if you go into your home page, you can, in your div here, you can just search for whatever, like let's say Instagram, and then you've got the Instagram icon installed directly. And you can put it in. Right now it doesn't really like show up as um, the right color. So I can put this in, I'm going to put it in a div so you can see. And then here, if I adjust the color to white, then all of a sudden my, uh, my icon is white, but I also want it significantly larger. So I can, I can basically adjust everything about this icon from this package in my own project. And the cool thing is, every time you build something extremely complex, you could wrap it in a package and publish it for others to use. And that is actually one of the key dis differences between the coding world and the no-coding world, is that there is this ability for coders to, to share all their work, and then everyone can build upon it. And what's even cooler is, if you're in a package, and let's say, for example, you want a carousel, and this carousel doesn't fulfill the needs that you have. So right now, what it does, it's like, okay, it can go from left to right, and you can adjust, like you can scroll with your scroll wheel, but it doesn't really, like when you click on the images, doesn't open up in a nice light box with a close button, and whatever else you need for it to do, then you could actually just clone this package. And then you could build upon it and make it even more advanced, relaunch it, and then all of a sudden you've launched a piece of, uh, piece of functionality that the community can benefit from. And that is what makes us incredibly excited about packages, and we cannot wait to see what you build.